With my panel, this is for Maria Cardona. Before Steve Bannon went to work for Donald Trump, he interviewed Trump for uh, Breitbart Radio. And in one conversation, Donald Trump defended the idea that we should give priority to highly educated immigrants. You know, we have to keep our talented people in this country. Um, I think you agree with that. Do you agree? Well, with that? I, I got a t tougher, you know, when two thirds or three quarters of the CEOs in Silicon Valley are from South Asia or from Asia, I think. Well, I, that, on, 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 a, yeah. on my point is that a country's more like uh, sessions. A country's more than an economy. We're a civic society. Okay, so uh, by the way, that number doesn't really check out because Bannon seriously exaggerated the number of Asian executives. So, what do you think when you when you hear that exchange? Well, I think exactly what the criticism has been of Steve Bannon all along, which is he delves into this language that that can be um, can be communicated to all of these communities of, of color as nothing but bigoted and racist, and that's why you have so many people who are out on the streets. So many people who are afraid of the, their own future and the future of their communities when you have somebody like Steve Bannon who has normalized this kind of bigotry and hatred and racism and misogyny mm -hmm. being in the White House. That literally means misogyny now has a seat at the table at the White House. Racism has the ear of the president. And you have seen Donald Trump already taking that kind of advice from the very first day that he announced his campaign calling John, Mexican immigrants rapists and criminals. John, you disagree with that? I do. I mean, Steve Bannon is brilliant. He's the call role of this generation. He and Kelly and Conway won the election because they're plugged in with the American people. And Don, no one, who can justify right now that we're going to have open borders of this business of breaking up families. No, the entire family should return to oh. their country or of origin. And it's not asking too much that American citizens start to rebuild this nation. But these attacks wow. on Steve Bannon are totally unfair. President-elect Trump has the right to select the type of people that are going to be around him. And, I, and I, as far I, as I, Tara, I was... you know, all this outrage about him, what about the late 90s with President Clinton? I didn't hear people saying it was okay that the president was greenlighting that type of activity in the Oval Office. Suddenly, they're going after Bannon and Trump on this. I, I, wanna, I, I, I want to well, tell you, 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 you don't come at me with that because I've been one of the people who's come out and said for all the, my fellow conservatives that went after Bill Clinton justifiably for his behavior in the White House and what he did to turn around and then make excuses for Donald Trump's behavior mm -hmm. and, and his you know, comments about grabbing women by the genitals and all that. All of a sudden, they excuse that away are hypocrites. Yeah. So don't come at me and say that I didn't have anything to say about that. I was very active on the front lines of conservatism all the 90s. Now, as far as right. what's going on, I want to tell us apart tonight. Tara. You're interchangeable. <laughs> Tara is Angela. Angela is Tara. I have a question for John. Um, hold on, hold on, Angela, okay. before you go to your question. I want to ask Tara because Tara is a conservative Republican and we the, the topic was Steve Bannon. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Right. No, I, I think that... Uh, Putting Steve Bannon in that position, you can be you can be a, uh, smart, you can be a genius, and you can be an evil genius. Mm -hmm. um, I yeah. don't think that having someone with what with the background that he has and the mm -hmm. comments that he's made, bragging about Breitbart being the platform for the alt right, mm -hmm. bragging about Leninism and his affinity for that, bragging about bringing down the system, mm -hmm. and allowing some of the ilk that's been on that website under his leadership, that does not send a message of unity mm -hmm. that Donald Trump needs to put forth as now the next president of the United States mm -hmm. in, in our country that's so divided. It's Absolutely. inflammatory language. And uh, we would, as conservatives, would never stand for it. I use the example of how we went after Van Jones, Cass Sunstein, Anita Dunn for her affinity for Mao, and Cass Sunstein and his, you know, leftist views, and then Van Jones, you know, who, who I've come to know well and who I think is a very nice guy and a, and a great commentator, but he was excoriated mm -hmm. uh, when he was appointed he was. the Green Job Czar uh, for his leftist views, so but nowhere close to what, 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 what Bannon are doing. Why are conservatives doing so that I with think, Bannon then? Because I think that people, the, 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 the moral compass of my party has gone haywire, and that they They've normalized he should have been named and rationalized Chief of Staff. and rationalized things that we would never accept on the other side. I can't explain why they're doing this, but it's not a good message, and they need they need to stop it. Can you imagine if President Obama had appointed or brought into the White House Jer Reverend Jeremiah Wright right. when he became president? That is the Pretty exact close. analogy. That is the exact analogy. Okay, go ahead, Angela. So my question is, is simple. You talked about needing to rebuild this country. I think it's important to note yeah. how this country was started to begin with. Um, I'm just interested to know who you think to begin with, John. Well, you, you, right now, I mean, my family came from Italy, 
and they didn't go and cost 19,000 per pupil in the schools. They didn't clog hospital emergency rooms as far as paying taxes. Well, the fact of the matter is you, you can't just say who built the country. Right now, illegal immigration is a huge cost. But to I'm cities, asking you who built the country uh, because there were forced I, immigrants. I think what her point is that immigrants built yes. a country and Settlers at some point, you know at some point all immigrants. of the people who came over were illegal at, you, you at some know, point. You know what it's so ironic, John? Immigrants. Well, that, that's not true. In yeah. my family, they were barbers. John. They didn't get you know uh, free so EBT ironic? cards. You they didn't get welfare. And they were cost 19000 per pupil. And they learned how to speak English. Your president-elect has paid okay. zero in federal taxes for at least the last 20 years. Undocumented it, immigrants well, pay thousands and thousands and of more dollars in federal taxes pay ta than your president-elect. Yes, they, they do, do not pay, pay taxes. Yes, they, they do. You have to read and all of it. The fact that you say that much. they don't and underscores just how little you know about this give, issue. P I do know a lot about you it. You don't and know the fact anything about it. People it's clear. need to get. No. People need. How do what? they? They don't file state tax returns. They don't file t well, uh, federal tax returns. Yes, that's right. Come on. That's you that's you just said a minute no ago idea. they were hiding in the shadows. So how can they be hiding in the shadows and paying taxes? You can't have it both ways. Hiding in the shadows and marching in the streets of Los Angeles. I think you're outnumbered. What shadows? Not only is he outnumbered. It doesn't mean I'm wrong, though, Don Lemon. Absolutely. I mean, March hiding in the shadows. There is a school in New York you, and L.A. You probably should study up a little bit on it, but I appreciate Daddy, you coming on. Read a book. Thank you all. Yes, John. Thank you guys. Read a book. That, that's it for us. Yes, read people. several. Thanks for watching. Hasta mañana, John. Yay I'll to see you Bannon. right back here tomorrow. Breitbart rules. Always, oh always something.